Early fall means it's time for baby copperhead snakes. If you're squeamish, you may want to turn away for just a bit, but you'll definitely want to listen to the helpful information about to come up. Five News reporter Ian Taylor has this to share about copperheads. While many of us are fine tuning our hog calls, copperhead snakes are busy setting the next generation up for success in the ecosystem. September isn't just football season, it's baby copperhead season in Arkansas. At the Janet Huckabee Nature Center in Fort Smith, Arkansas Game and Fish educator Danielle Simmons has a simple message to avoid a possible problem. Snakes were here first, leave them alone and they'll, they'll leave you alone. But if you find yourself facing the business end of one of these venomous baby or adult snakes, don't panic. A lot of times they don't care about people, they want to just sit there and hide or uh, they're going to scurry away. Their the very last defense is to bite. She says although snakes aren't always everyone's favorite animal to come across, thankfully all copperheads, young and old, are strung with bold markings to let you know. So copperheads have a really cool identification tool where you can look on the sides of their bodies and they have like Hershey kiss shaped spots on the side. And those spots kind of help identify them from the other snakes that we have in Arkansas. During this time of year, pets also need extra supervision. At River Valley Animal Hospital, Dr. Brittany Brassel says, while it's uncommon for pets to get bitten, it can happen. If you see any type of swelling to the face, the lips, the throat, definitely get them in, but you will see those signs for sure in 30 minutes to an hour. As baby copperheads start their life in our ecosystems, they'll look for cool, dry places to hide, like sheds, under potted plants, and in grassy piles and yards. It's not always easy to snake-proof those things around your home, but one of the best ways to avoid copperheads is to reduce their food source. Mainly rodents is their number one source of food, so our houses are kind of, if we have a lot of rodents around our houses, that's kind of free game. Um, so trying to take care of all those um, Food sources that you may have, if you can eliminate that, they're not going to hang around. Covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News. If you think more copperheads are popping up without noticing, it's because venomous snakes don't lay eggs like other snakes. Only six types of venomous snakes in Arkansas. And while many don't care for them, they do help with pest control.